What up, what up, guys? How you guys doing? Uh, another vlog, another day. Let's see. This is Monday, July 1st. Still gotta go pay rent. Uh, so yeah, Monday, July 1st. So, I, I mean, I guess you'll probably be seeing this Tuesday then. Um, hi, how you doing? Another kind of productive day. At least the first few hours of today were productive. I worked all through last night until the morning just because it's so much more comfortable in the middle of the night with that lower temperature air. Um, I was able to get a lot of stuff done. I, I worked a lot on the priori incantatum effect. And there's several <laughs> in this video, but I was doing a lot of research. When you, when you do effects, you do a lot of research on how to do an effect. Not necessarily like, like, oh, how do I do this? But a lot of playing around with the kind of style you're going to be playing with, the, the kind of look that you're going for in an effect. Because like, I may know how to do several things, but I don't know how I want it to look. So I was playing around with how I want it to look and pretty happy so far. So we'll see. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, are you guys familiar with uh, the name George Watsky? He's a YouTube rap artist. Uh, actually, he's really well known for a viral video he had a couple years ago called Pale Kid Raps Fast. I think it got like, I don't know, 800 million views. Not really 800 million. Um, there's him just talking really fast, uh, rapping really fast. And there's like a little cat. And he, he went on the Ellen Show and stuff. And now he has uh, an album out called Cardboard Castles. He's got actually pretty good music. He's really well-spoken. Uh, High moral standards, stuff like that. He's a go, uh, cool, cool guy. He called me up yesterday, being like, hey, so, uh, <laughs> I literally just got an email from him. I was like, oh, hey, that's interesting timing. I just got an email from him. Anyway, so he called me up yesterday, being like, hey, so I like your videos. Uh, do you want to be the visual effects supervisor on my next music video, which I'm shooting in two days? And I was like, um, sure. Hi, I like your music. <laughs> Apparently, uh, he had called up Freddie Wong, and he recommended me. So go figure. That was, I mean, kind of cool. Uh, so basically, I'm going to show up on set tomorrow. We're going to, he's doing a music video for his uh, song, Kill a Hipster, and it's going to be a zombie video. So basically, it's just a bunch of zombies taking over uh, the neighborhood, and instead of, but like, the zombies are like hipsters, a little meta metaphor metaphorical there. Um, and so basically my job is to make sure that they get the right shots that they need uh, for the visual effects in post, which is what I'm also going to be doing. So I don't expect it to take too long. Hopefully it won't take away too much from working on the Harry Potter video, but I thought it was one of those things I couldn't really pass up because it was like, you know, it's George Wasky. Yeah, so uh, that's pretty much all that going on with that. So I'm going to be taking off tomorrow morning for this shoot and then working on effects at some point in time after that. I don't really feel like talking about anything else tonight. I don't want to talk about how something works. I'm not really in the mood. Honestly, I'm just kind of missing my fiance to get a little sappy on you guys. Uh, it's, I'm, I get a little lonely just without her here. But I don't really want to burden you with... Uh, that kind of talk. Basically, I'll just let you know uh, what's going on. We uh, are doing long distance and have been for the last year and a half. Pretty much since I moved to Los Angeles. We, we used to live together up in Oregon. We've been dating almost three years now. And let's see. We started doing long distance when I moved down here. And we'd see each other about once a month. Uh, she's a nurse and she works at a hospital in Eugene, Oregon. And nurses have really weird weekly schedules so that, like, pretty much she would have this two-week block where she'd, like, work one night, work the next night, have two nights off, then work five nights and have five nights off. It's really weird. So, but what that allowed was that she would have five days of not working. And that was really convenient for her coming down here or me going up there to visit. And we'd see each other about once a month. Yes, flying once every other month does tend to get a little expensive, but on the other hand... It's a cost that I have accepted as just something to be able to live down here. It's never entered my mind that like long distance wouldn't work between us, but not being able to see each other just wouldn't work. I would have left here. I would have moved away from here long ago if I 
wasn't able to see her as often as I do. But at the same time, it still sucks. I miss you. So she's actually moving down here in a little while. I'm not sure specifically when. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Now, yeah, I'm just going to go to bed and talk to you guys tomorrow.